Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this little bit of a find with you. So I was out there looking around on eBay for some stuff, and I came across this, and I thought this was rather cool for doing some, basically, uh, any type of project, but especially some 3D uh, printing projects. And we'll get to one of those in the future, but I kind of wanted to share this with you guys now. So you can kind of take a look and see how this works. So, kind of long story short, this is a remote control LED, and it comes in kind of a weird uh, Ziploc package. So, I'm going to cut it open. And let's pop it out of here. So, uh, what we have, we get it out, we have a charging cable, which it charges by plugging it into a USB source. And then we actually have the module here which uh, they seem to have unplugged the battery uh, from the control unit. I'm sure that this just pops into here. And uh, then you have the remote control. Now, I think you can actually change colors. Now, the interesting thing is this is in Mandarin, so I have no idea what it means. And you have this little thing you pull out to activate it. So, uh, as you can see, it's coming alive once that is plugged in. So. Let's go ahead and pop this off. The battery must be charged to some extent. So we can turn it off. And we can turn it on. And it's kind of bright. Actually, really bright. So what happens is this, uh, I think it actually varies in color. Because as you press the different buttons, you can change the color of it. And I guess what it does. Now, I'm not too sure what all these buttons sort of do with this. And so we turned it on, and we keep pressing it, and it keeps... This seems to make it brighter and dimmer. Because if I push this one, see it dims it down. And then this one, I think, changes the... supposed to change the hue of it. I don't know, this is... Uh, I don't know, maybe this one changes the hue, but it... Uh, Changes the color a little bit, but the interesting piece is, in, and I'm not sure how one would work this into a 3D model, but it has, um, you know, some threads on here where if this wasn't soldered on there, you could actually put a, a nut on here and insert it into a 3D printed project. And then what happens is you can stick this in to charge it. And then you can have it set up sort of as a nightstand or a nightlight or something like that. So I think this will be handy for some, uh, you know, just kind of cool projects that uh, if you want to do. Uh, I'm not sure if it's timed. Let's see if I can find a little bit more instructions for it, what these um, buttons do. Because uh, I was expecting a little bit more in the package. And, uh, well, you see everything I got here. But I think this was super cheap. I think this was like 12 bucks. And I thought for 12 bucks, you know, making something for one of my grandkids or something like that would be kind of cool. Uh, put this inside something and then, you know, have it light up. Eh, I think it would be cool. Uh, because one of the things that I think this has been popular for, and I'll put it up in the corner, is those 3D printed moons. I really don't want to do a 3D printed moon, but I guess you couldn't stick this inside of it. But I think you can stick this inside of a lot of different things and um, use it as a light source. And probably what I'll do is I'll unsolder the these two connectors right here, solder wires on it. Um, so I can put this inside something and maybe use some double-sided tape uh, on the inside with this. And then, um, you know, use a nut to fasten this to the outside of the housing. And then simply, you know, you can simply charge it. Because it looks like a pretty robust little um, LiPo battery for, you know, this small of a module. And it's got this kind of super bright LED. Might be kind of interesting to even use for drones. It's a very bright LED, so... Um, you know, not sure, because actually when it goes to the white, it's actually a little bit blinding this close up. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys. If you're working on a project and you need a little light to put inside, I'll have links to this down below. This might be a pretty good option. And again, comes with a remote control. And uh, hey, for like 12 bucks, you can't go wrong for any type of little type, you know project. Also thinking about uh, using this to, you know, with the uh, white light to actually... Um, work as task lighting for a 3D printer or something like that too. And, 
and just kind of see so because with this bright uh, light being able to shine it onto a work surface the interesting thing is the camera well I guess it does see it it's kind of a weird white light uh, but it's very bright and so having it on some sort of work surface or be able to light up something and you want to turn it on you know you can turn it off you can turn it on um, why it wants to come on is yellow I don't know I'll have to figure out what these Mandarin characters mean if you got one of these, let me know in the comments below if I don't find the uh, instructions online. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. And, uh, hey, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Again, if you got one of these, let me know. Or if you got an idea for a project, let me know down below. Love to hear from you guys. Cheers and see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.